In this video, we are going to look at the topic of optimization and calculus curves. So this is quite a uh, difficult topic to grasp and it is asked in a lot of the more difficult IB math exam questions. So we really want to get an understanding of what optimization means and how it relates to curves and their derivatives and their second derivatives. So I have a function here, I have my curve, this is going to be an fx curve, and I've just put, it some, I've put some dots referring to some coordinates on our curve. So we have point A here, we know here x would be negative 2, here x would be 0, that's at the origin O. I've just put some point here at B, and we also have 8, and then we have C. So, what I, what I want us to understand is what does f of A equal? And this means, what is the y value at point A? So at point A, the y value, because this is our fx function, will be 0. Because on our y-axis, it's not up here, it's not down here, it's actually when y equals 0. So f at this point here will be equal to 0. Secondly, I want us to think about what does f dash of A equal? Now f dash of a means what is the slope or what is the gradient at point a. So f of a meant the y value, f dash of a means what is the slope. And at point a, well we don't know the exact answer of the slope, but we do know that it's part of a line here that seems to be sloping up. So the first derivative at a will be some positive answer. So f dash of a will be positive, and it's very different to what f of a is. f of a is the y value, f dash of a is the slope, and that'll be positive. And then finally, what is f double dash of a, the second derivative? So if we have the second derivative, the second derivative uh, relates to the concavity. So where our point is at a, is that part of a negative or a positive or a zero concavity? Well, it's part of this curve here, and if it's curving down, it's a negative concavity. So we're going to get some negative value for the concavity at A. So if we can understand what the difference between F, F dash, and F double dash is, you can really, uh, you can really understand these problem solving questions. Okay, let's go through the other points a little bit more quickly. So F of negative 2, this means at when x is negative 2, what's the y value? Well, it'll be positive. It'll be up here. So this will be a positive value. Now let's do f dash of negative 2. This means what is the slope when x is negative 2? Well, when x is negative 2, the slope will be 0. It's a maximum. So this will be 0. And what is f double dash of negative 2? Well, at this point here, it is part of the negative concavity, so it will still be a negative value. Now, after a few of these, I've hopefully you can see the pattern or understand what these mean. f of 0, so when x is 0 at the origin, the y value will also be 0. Okay, f dash of 0, this is going to be the slope at the origin and it's going to be sloping down. So this will be a negative. And the double derivative, which is concavity at zero, well, this will still be part of the negative concavity section, so it will have a concavity which is negative. Okay, three more points. F of B. So F of B means when X is at point B, which will be here, what is the y value? Well, this will be negative. Okay, what is f dash of B? Well, at point B here, the slope is down, so we'll have a negative slope. And the double derivative, this is an interesting one, this one. The double derivative is the concavity. Is it part of a the negative concavity, or is it part of the positive concavity? Well, it looks to be right in the middle. And if we have no concavity, it's a point of inflection. So this is a point of inflection, and that's when the double derivative is equal to zero. Okay, two more. 
So we have f of 8. What does f of 8 mean? So when we go to, when x is 8 down here, the y value will be negative. Now the slope, f dash of 8. What is the slope here? Well, it's a turning point, it's a minimum, so the slope will be equal to 0. And f double dash will be our concavity. And this point here is part of the happy face. So it's going to have a positive concavity. And the last one at point C, f of C, the y value right here will be 0. Now f dash of c, this is going to be part of a, the point will be sloping up, so it'll be positive, and the concavity at c will also be positive as it's part of our happy face here. So f double dash of c will be equal to some positive value. Okay, so hopefully once we've uh, looked at all of that, we now understand the difference between fx f dash x and f double dash x, this just being our original function, this being the first derivative, this being the second derivative, it's really important to understand that at any point x, fx means the y value, f dash x means the value of the gradient or the slope, and f double dash x is the value of the concavity. So if we understand this, we might be able to draw the first derivative or the second derivative if we are given the first uh, the, the original function. And we can answer these tricky uh, problem solving questions where they might give you a derivative curve. Okay, so that's that's what the our uh, curves will look like. With regards to this, this word here, optimization, if a function has been optimized, it means there needs to be a maximum or a minimum. So in this function here, the optimum points, the maximum and the minimum, are going to be these points here, the max and the min. Now you may think, well, the min is actually lower than this. It's down here if the function continues and the max is actually gonna, going to keep going higher. That's why you often hear these referred to as the local maximum and the local minimum. Because in an exam question, they might restrict the domain to something between here and here where this is actually the minimum and this actually is the maximum. But more likely, you're going to get a, a real world problem where you might get a surface area or a volume or, or a, an area of a rectangle. And what these questions ask for is what's going to be the, the area or the width or the length of our shape when the, and whatever it is, will be, will be optimized or be a maximum or a minimum. So if you do come across these questions where you see the word a maximum or a minimum, you need to follow these key steps. So with optimization, you need to find the first derivative. Find f dash x. And when something is being optimized, for example here at the min or the max, notice that the slope is zero. It's where a turning point occurs. So the first derivative we now know refers to the slope. So if you ever want to maximize or minimize something, get an equation, derive it, find the derivative, and make this equal to zero. And if you do that and solve for where the x points are, in this case x equals negative 2 and x equals 8, you're finding where the function is being optimized, a maximum or a minimum. Now to check if it's a maximum or a minimum, there are a few different ways. So you can find your your ways in your textbook or from your teacher, but the most common way is to then use the x value that you found to be an optimum, optimum place, either a max or a min, and if you sub that into the double derivative and it comes out as a positive answer, it means that you got the minimum because the minimum is an optimum spot that's part of a positive concavity. So if the, if the double derivative is positive, at that optimum spot, it's a minimum. Or if the double derivative was a was a negative, you had the maximum. So that's the, it's the most common way to find whether you have maximized or minimized a function. 
Okay, so these questions, they do take practice. My goal for this video was for you to understand the difference between F, F dash and F double dash. If you want to optimize anything, you need to get an equation, derive it and make it equal to zero, and that finds the maximum and minimum spots. And then you can use the double derivative to test whether it was a minimum or a maximum. Okay, I encourage you to practice a few questions, so good luck.